when I tell you, I have honestly never felt so bad for an influencer before until I went on Reddit and saw the speculation and blind items as to why Aspen and Parker are getting a divorce. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to say something. It pays to be nice because you just don't know what people are going through. Not all divorces are the same. Aspen is getting shredded on Instagram at the moment for being a bad mom, but after a bit of digging, it appears that she could be going through a really tough and devastating time at the moment. And I hope the blind items that are trending on Reddit about her divorce aren't true, because if it is, oh my God, I just don't know how her and Parker are coping. So, you know, good on her for taking care of herself at the moment and, you know, going on a slaycation, even though she's getting ripped to shreds on Instagram for doing that, you know, she really needs to take care of herself. So yeah, let's get into this video. Aspen and Parker were married for eight years before Aspen recently filed for divorce. And people were always coming for them saying things like, oh, people who get married, Married when they're teens, never last, etc. And they were happy for the longest time, or at least they appeared to be. So people are shocked at their divorce. Now, for years, people have been coming for Aspen, saying that she treats Parker like shit and that Parker does everything. Now, I don't know how I think about that, to be honest. I just don't know. I don't watch them enough to know. But what I do know is that Aspen filed for divorce literally after giving birth to her daughter or days before. So people are like, what caused her to do that? Because that's a huge thing to do right when you've given birth to your third baby. Now, there's been a few major life changes in Aspen and Parker's life in the last year. Aspen sold her popular boutique. They decided to take their kids off social media, which I commend them for. They sold their million dollar home that they worked really hard on and Parker isn't on social media that often and he doesn't really feature on her channel anymore either. So there were a lot of rumors surrounding their divorce and I was like, damn, they seem so happy. Like what happened? There were even rumors a while ago of Parker apparently being unfaithful, which caused me to do a bit of digging when I found that out because that gobsmacked me. I mean, that could have just been a lie because I only saw like a tiny little bit of a snippet over on Guru Gossip. This is like, ages ago about Parker being unfaithful. So I don't really believe that actually happened. However, over on Reddit, there were quite a few blind items about something that's happened in their family recently, like a really big tragedy. And I almost cried reading it. Like it's so sad. Like if that is the case for their divorce, wow, that is so sad. So it's starting to trend on Reddit under Aspen's name. And if this is actually happening, like what we're about to talk about. That's actually so sad that she's getting ripped into and destroyed over on her Instagram at the moment. And by the way, I just want to say people also accusing her of leaving her baby in the NICU to go on vacation with her sister and her cousin. That is so not the case. She took all the kids with her apparently. And we can literally see that on some of her latest Instagram stories. So over on Reddit, it says, if you're new, start here. Receipts for everything the last year. I mean, seriously, what is going on at this point? It's getting weird. Here's the full list. First, Aspen goes MIA for two weeks and misses her deadline for sponsorship and vlog that was supposed to be posted during her trip, which never happens. Her and Parker were supposedly seen in Missouri. She completely stopped showing Parker removed husband and dad out of his Instagram bio. She's pausing LNG and sold out of everything. Her family has been posting heart emojis and things like proud of you on her social media as if something is going on. She says on YouTube she's taking another break but doesn't know when. What's going on that is causing her break? Now she's selling her new house. Like this is so odd. I personally think it's a divorce. I really hope not but that's what seems most likely to me. I don't know though. Could be something else posted this in another thread, but I swear she said C was having balance issues, a droopy side of face, and would wake in the middle of the night screaming. C is her eldest daughter, by the way. Someone else said, I'm only speculating, but the comments on this picture and on Aspen's Facebook photo with C definitely insinuate something is wrong. I really, really hope C is okay. Has anyone else seen C in any of Aspen's posts recently? Nope. Last time I saw a post was an Insta story when they came home from California and they were doing something on the kitchen table and she was complaining about Utah. She posted with Elle on TikTok though. In her latest TikTok, she shows Elle multiple times. Elle is her youngest daughter, by the way. 
well, her second youngest daughter now. She's definitely playing into the sea rumours. Also, they're back at the same place where everything went downhill. What's everyone's thoughts? Something is definitely going on with C. Only times she has been shown is with a hat on. She gets full privacy lately. L does not. I thought maybe she didn't want to address it for privacy and as to not profit in any way from it, but this almost feels like she is. In the beginning of March, Aspen's Facebook cover photo switched from a picture of her and Parker to a her and C. Her profile picture was switched to a picture of her and L. There are seven comments on her Facebook cover photo with C saying things like, love you, and no comments on the picture of L. Also, around the same time, Parker's mom switched her Facebook photo to a picture of C. Also, someone on Facebook mentioned that they spotted Aspen and Parker at a Target not in Utah. This person's Facebook is from a city in Mississippi just 30 minutes from the top children's hospital in the country, St. Jude. Someone else said, I hesitate to say anything because it really isn't my business and I don't know her personally, but I do know people that know her. All I will say is that they found out some truly devastating news about the health of one of their children. Right now they are using their time to focus on their child and the time they have left with her. I don't know many details, but I do know that she deserves privacy and respect right now. What she is going through is unimaginable. It probably hurts too much to talk about and to deal with the questions and opinions would be a minefield. Sorry to be so vague. I feel weird enough saying this much though. Please to not comment on it or harass her in any way, but the wild speculation needs to stop. Remember, she is a real person and you never know what someone is going through. Just send her thoughts and prayers, please. Aspen's house for sale. Edit, the new build house. Okay, not sure if I'm allowed to post pictures of a listing I saw, but 99% sure Aspen and Parker's house is listed for sale. 3.49 million. I wonder what the reasoning is to sell. Her break must correlate with whatever is going on because she said she didn't know when it would be or how long. There must be some sort of event coming up that has to do with whatever it is going on because she said she doesn't know when her break will be yet. So there must be something she's waiting on before she fully takes a break. I've noticed she hasn't posted Parker or C, but her and Parker were apparently spotted in Missouri at the beginning of March. She said when talking about the new house, so if she gave an update for it, they must still be planning to move into it together. My best guess is something happened while they're in California. I don't know what that could be, but I just feel like if something happened with one of her kids' health, then her and Parker would just tell the viewers everyone would understand. The fact that she's making it a secret seems like there's something more happening. I don't know. Aspen went through IVF to get pregnant with her third baby, and they wanted to make sure it was healthy, especially with everything that is going on with C. Who said that? I'm friends with some friends of theirs, and I've heard about their situation, and it really is so sad. I can totally see why they're not ready slash wanting to to share all the details with people on the internet yet. But yes, they underwent IVF and that's how they found out the gender super early. I know it wasn't my place or business to share this information. It's just hard to see Aspen get so much negativity on here knowing what she's going through. Still, not a good excuse, but I thought maybe it would calm some people down. So one of Aspen and Parker's former neighbours has actually commented on their divorce and her thoughts as to why they're getting a divorce. She commented on E! News' post about their divorce, me. She was my neighbour and super stuck up slash rude. I'll never relate to people who make a living off of other people and who are completely rude and out of touch with the same people that are paying their bills. I liked her until she became my neighbour. Hope the baby is healthy and she has a healthy recovery though, regardless of my thoughts of her as a person. I wish her the same as a woman who just went through the most traumatic thing our bodies go through. And here she was responding to someone asking her questions about this. And neighbour said, I really try to be, lol. And if that was sarcasm, let me clarify. When she was my neighbour, my toddler daughter at the time, was so excited to wave at her because she was told by a friend of ours who she was. I didn't know who she was until then and I really liked her and her content. When my daughter approached them to wave, hello, super excited, Aspen closed the door as she was waving and seemed genuinely annoyed at her waving. Also, I know Aspen would run in and hide as a paparazzi was following her in our neighbourhood when most of us knew about her as we lived there. Parker sounds nice. He'd wave hi as he was mowing the lawn and I know he mowed neighbours lawn sometimes. Does that clarify my experiences? It's not being a rain of sunshine or not. It's about the fact that based on my first-hand knowledge and personal experiences, I've decided not to like her. I'm not just talking as a disgruntled fan of hers or someone who's never interacted with her, but closing the door on a child waving while visibly annoyed at the wave didn't make my scent as faveless, that's all. Anyway, people were commenting about this neighbor's experience just going, 
like, what the hell? Like, why would a toddler understand a person's social media status? Like, that whole comment from that ex-neighbour, even if it is her ex-neighbour, it just gives off really strange vibes. So here was yet another post about their divorce, and this Reddit thread is getting quite a bit of attention. It states, I got sent this by an insider. Reasons for the divorce. Apparently, Aspen has been so cold and unattached to C's prognosis, which caused many problems in the marriage. Of course, everyone copes differently, which is why many relationships fail after tragedy with children. I asked a follow-up question, second screenshot, about why they've been pretending to be together, but people in their circle are also very confused by this. My opinion, if the finding out about the pregnancy video is fake, her whole social media probably is, as well as everything about their relationship online. I think that some family members, especially Parker's side, are frustrated with how Aspen is handling the situation, which is why they've been coming on Reddit and spilling. But that's all of my opinion, and who knows what's really going on. What they're going through is so hard, and you can't blame anyone for acting crazy and not getting along if everyone has their own opinions. This insider did not provide me proof, so it's not confirmed, but I choose to believe them for the following reasons. This person has been commenting on the sub for a while, even before the divorce, and I texted them about this before the divorce was filed. They only responded to me yesterday, though. This person has been commenting about the date of birth being March 13th and the NICU thing for a while now. Here's what this insider had allegedly said. February 2023, C diagnosis. Summer 2023, separated but still living together. Also told IVF to specify certain DNA to be able to use stem cells for C. She knew she was pregnant and video taking test. That was all for content. P takes care of C. A is unattached. Divorce has been planned for a long time for after baby number three arrived. L is the official name and born on the 13th. So sad for poor C, praying for her. If they've been separated for a while, why does she post videos and photos of them kissing? Girl, I have no clue. It's so weird. It's literally like it's all for Instagram. Nothing she posts about is real. So this whole situation is just so sad and all those blind items as well that are trending on Reddit. Like, And it's also really sad to see like drama videos being made about Aspen on YouTube when people don't really know like the full story. I mean, I guess no one does really, but man, if those blind items are true I really hope that people give her a break because oh my god poor her and poor Parker you know having to deal with this I mean the divorce is kind of like the last thing they're worried about at this point and maybe that's why Aspen seems so detached from the comments of people like hating on her online at the moment I just feel so bad for her and I hope that people give her a break but anyway let me know your guys thoughts on this in the comments 